of there. <laughs> Some of you already know, know that I'm a person who stutters. And while well, I can't imitate me, Bill Clinton as well as you probably could. <laughs> it's a teaser here for a technique that I'll get to later on. But at first, I want to address common perception and misperception about stuttering. As I said, some of you who might not even been aware that I do this, if some of you have heard me mention it before, or which case these may have deja vu right now. Well, but it, well, what, where I was going with this, stuttering it, it can be misconstrued. I have an encounter with this here at Harris at the sign of you're just not very confident or you really don't know what you're talking about. It's not like that. And it, it's a speech, it's an actual speech disorder. It, it doesn't reflect on anything else. See, 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 see this is an example of what I'm talking about. I, I grabbed this headline off a Democratic blog. But <laughs> 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 the word that they're looking for is equivocate. <laughs> even, if she, even if Pelosi had a stutter, or she'd still be very competent at, at her job. Since the fourth grade, which is the first time I can call anyone making fun of it. Uh, even if I, I tripped over a word with an L and then ABK and how I said it. But it, I didn't, didn't think about it you know, a whole lot then at the time. I was in high school before or I knew the stuttering even had a name. I just known it as a continual source of frustration and until then. And so it felt good to know that it, it actually was a thing. But I would still get frustrated when I would try to ask someone a question in class or, or afterward, or, or have any kind of conversation, do a presentation. But it wasn't the biggest source of concern just yet. I wasn't particularly social from K to 12 and on into college. Just later focused on academics. And everything things seemed to be going pretty well. That's, that's the cathedral of learning. And I went to the University of Pittsburgh. But in college, then I started to have some more doubts. I remember here in astronomy class as once giving in, in this absolutely terrible presentation <laughs> in, in where I was tripping over every word, or every slot, a, a, the professor would cut it and, well, well, did you consider this? You know, you didn't do this right. And then there was another time I, I, where feedback I got from a different professor critiqued my halting speech. So annoying. <laughs> but, but I didn't think about it, it, it this much then. For those who don't know, I did two summer astronomy research internships, at, and that's my intern cohorts. That, and I, like a lot of you, have heard internship often leads to a full-time job. Well, well, it, well, it didn't in this case. Neither of these places accepted me for astronomy grad school. In fact, I had a lot better luck, as it were, getting into places where no one had ever met me. That uh, I looked better on paper to people than I did in person. So why? Hey, what about my personality would make them say we can, can do better? Well, was it my stutter? Given the negative feedback that I got, for, not just from those two people, well, I wondered. And, and I was afraid for a while well, to speak to people well, I felt well, like I had to be perfect, or, 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 or that was it. They wanted anything to, to do with me. But that's about five years of self doubt in, in a minute. And then I came to Harris. <laughs> and, I, and then I realized new start in many ways is no one in here knows about my past. I'm going to try to be more social. Well, and, and I found that I actually enjoyed it. So, <laughs> well, great experiences. This from the boat ride during the week, last year's Gargoyle Gala. And very significantly, he, I, he met Kyle. Some of you who might have also met Kyle, he graduated in June. Kyle was the first person in I had met who also stuttered. And, and so it felt so. We, so we connected pretty much right away. And I thought to myself, I'm not alone. <laughs> and and, and yeah, he did a Pachacucha about this a year or two 
ago who, who from which I took a lot of heart. And that's what he told me in one of our conversations. So I thought, oh, he's, he's got a point. And, and, and I thought about that. And then, and, and then I started to become less afraid of speaking to people and stuttering. Now, now what I, you, you referenced earlier, it was a way that, that I have heard you can maybe not stutter is to use a different accent. So if I speak like Bill Clinton or try a style like Bernie Sanders, <laughs> I not stutter here quite as much. And also, oh, I, I recall hold that particular line a, a, in a context of talking about an interview who's which made a lot of sense to me because I can only even consider the first part. Right, 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 as I recall, all about the conversation with Patrick. <laughs> with, so thank you for, 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 for that. <laughs> but I'll this by noting something that I've learned recently. The, both of them stuttered. Not, some, not people you would, who would picture. The vice president and uh, and the voice of Darth Vader, I am your father. <laughs> and, and, and one of my personal favorites in that uh, is, is his line from Field of Dreams where he shouts, Peace, love, dope! <laughs> but, and, and so I realized, they stuttered and, they, and they've done very well for, for themselves. I doubt that I'm ever going to overcome this completely, but it, I, I have to say I feel better about this than this now than I can feel like at any point previously. So thank you very much.
well as having to put that energy. So thank you so much. So I'm sure it might it can be challenging. Uh, I would yes. like to know, as potentially your classmate in some other courses in the quarters that's left, how can I contribute to make um, the classroom like not a challenging place for you in any way? Like because I absolutely believe that certain will not like makes you not less capable, but I would never want to act in such a way. So do you have any suggestions as how can we help contribute to that? nice um, learning environment? Well, I, I appreciate the question. And let's see. I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure that I, I have a great answer for, for that. I, I guess one thing, I guess one thing I would say, and I don't recall Kyle mentioning this as well, well, it is that is when someone stutters, it is not to finish their sentences. That, that and, and, I mean, I mean, I know what I mean. I know what people are trying to do. Oh, and and. I mean, I personally you don't take it as a, as an insult, well, but at the same time, I will. will people say it. I'll just take it a second or two or longer. I have, I have, not recently, but in the past, as before I was in Paris, I have had people get impatient with me when when I get stuck on on a, on a word. So and, and so that did annoy me. But it, but it doesn't really happen so much now. Well, I'm in part because I started less than I used to. Would add, and in part because I think people are more aware and understanding of it. Um, yeah, I um, yeah I guess I the, yeah I, I guess I can't think of, of much else to add to that. It, and to be clear, here I am. I will personally be offended if any of you who finish one of my sentences. But, but yeah, but in general, when you're talking to someone who's better, it's it's best not to finish your sentences. <laughs>